this man was the biggest culprit. Frank had the biggest heart in the show, and he always wanted to be a great dad, and his fear was that he wasn't, and I think he overcompensated. And I think he, so he gave Janine too much, um, and it didn't do her any favours. Back when Janine looked like this, whatever Frank's little sweetheart wanted, Frank's little sweetheart got. Even in those early years, you can see Frank being that kind of doting father, kind of making up for his kind of shortcomings and spoiling her and indulging her. Uh, what is your pleasure, young lady? She wants a gin and tonic. <laughs> she wants a gin and tonic. He spoiled her rotten, I think, when she was young. She, you know, he bought her things all the time. I only want to make you happy. I am happy. She was a very sort of spoiled, obnoxious child. Uh, you sit down there. Get off! You're a fat old cow and I hate you. Go on, then, hit me and see what me dad says. I remember young Janine, all three of them, very well, actually, particularly when she turned Greek for a couple of months. But I think what's interesting about Janine is that her father was probably the most flawed uh, in EastEnders history. Frank was such a great character because he just made mistakes all the time. <laughs> He may have made mistakes, but Frank Butcher also provided us with hours of entertainment. Frank was such a big personality. Being a dad was just a small part of it. You've got this kind of big showman, you know, naked with a bow tie, smiling, you know, rose in his mouth, always got an answer for everything. And who wouldn't want a dad that wanders around in nothing but a bow tie? He's really warm and paternal and fun. So that side of being a dad, he was great at, but again, he was kind of selfish, and when it came to it, he wouldn't really be there. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. In fact, Frank abandoned his kids a total of eight times. Oh, he made more comebacks in status quo, didn't he? What would you do if Frank Butcher was your, was your dad? He's in, he's out, he's there, he's not. All that coming and going was bound to have repercussions. Eventually, Frank's little princess turned into a little monster. I've got to learn to fight my own battles now. <laughs> he definitely had the ability to wrap him around a little finger. I think a lot of that may have come from guilt because he probably knew, you know, you can't buy somebody's love with showering them with presents and, you know, when all they want is your time, really. What are you laughing you can absolutely trace Janine's roots in, in Frank. The trouble is, is that Janine honed her skills with Frank, learning she could get exactly what she wanted and when she wanted it. But when she became an adult, that became kind of, instead of demanding, you know, a new bracelet or a new watch, it was, I want to throw someone off the cliff because I don't want to be married anymore. Um, so it's Frank's fault. So no matter how lovely...